The Examiner app can be downloaded and installed on any Windows or Mac device that you wish to use during exams and assessments. Always be sure to have the latest operating system updated on your device before you start the install. Let's start to download the Examiner app on a Mac OS device. We'll begin by accessing the Mavenpoint online service, so portal.edutechonline.com, and we're going to choose sign in with a Microsoft 365 account. This could be your university account. You can then either select your email address or choose use another account and type in your email address. Follow that by entering your password for your account and click sign in. You can always choose to remain signed in if you prefer. In Examiner, click on the option Download Examiner app at the top of the screen and this will commence a download after clicking the Allow button to allow that download. This can take a little bit of time but you can monitor the download at the bottom of the screen but also at the top of the screen as well in Safari. Once the download is completed, you can locate the download. In this case, we'll do that by clicking on the download option Safari and command click on the download and choose open. This will start the installation process. Click on examiner toolbox in the installer and give it a little bit of time and it will present to you the option to start the installation. We'll click open on the first prompt and then we'll need to provide our password for our Mac OS account. Once we've provided our password, we then click on the option install. Now there's a system extension that has been blocked here, so we'll need to click on open security preferences to allow it. Now this interface for security preferences is kind of locked down at the moment. So at the bottom left of this menu, we'll click on the padlock and provide our Mac OS account password to allow us to unlock this menu. At this point, we can click on the option allow and that will allow the extension. Click allow again in the following prompt. We'll also need to click on the privacy button at the top and allow that plugin full disk access. So scroll down on your left-hand menu click full disk access and then select the examiner extension. Once you have a tick in that box, it will continue the installation process. You might receive further commands and requests from the installation. So we get one for a, a daemon that we need to click open on and another one for an agent, which again, we will click open on to continue the installation. At this point, you'll then be able to restart your computer. If we go to the main installation window in the background, there should be a button to restart. So this will restart your Mac OS device. Once the system has rebooted, use Spotlight Search at the top of your desktop and then search for Examiner. This should show you the Examiner app. Click on the Examiner app to launch it. The first time we launch it, we'll have to go through another check just to get the system set up. So at this point, you'll notice that we get another note to open our system preferences. And here is where we'll need to again click unlock for our security preferences, type in our password. And what we're doing here is for accessibility, we're selecting the examiner app for that feature. We can close this menu now and choose to restart the examiner application. Now the examiner app will load, it will ask you to access your webcam and your microphone, which you'll need to allow to be able to use the examiner app. For both prompts, we want to select the option, okay, for your webcam and also for your microphone. The examiner app will open and it's just the case of signing in with your Microsoft 365 account at this point. So if you have any problems during the installation, we suggest you reach out to IT or your instructors who will be able to resolve any issues.